good to be here. Worshipping the Lord with you. As Pastor Dishan says, we've been coming for many years. And the only problem is, it was so many years ago that when I come, I, it makes me feel a lot older. <laughs> he was just a young teenager. A naughty one too. A naughty one. <laughs> And now to see his daughter and she's going to get married soon, wow, makes you feel old. But from the first time we were here and we were meeting in the second floor of the old Israeli embassy, maybe a hundred people, to see what God has done. Not only here, but throughout the nation. And, and around the world. Praise the Lord. You've been in Uganda. You've been in Timor. And I forgot this morning to talk about Japan. Because I believe God's going to send a team from your church to Japan. I believe God's going to shake that nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of 2 Kings. Chapter 4. Verses 1 through 7. And we'll just read it in Sinhalese. Propeta Putreange, Bahariavagin ek istriek, Elishata Muragasa, Ubage Mehikaru, Mage Purusia, Malaya, Ubage Mehikarua, Swam in Vahanse Kerehi Baya Atua City Bava, Ubadan Nehia. Naya Himia, Mage Daruan de Dena, Tamata Dasian Kotaganta, Avid City I Kiwire, Elisha Katakota, Mama Nubata Kumakarande, Gay Nubata Tibene, Monavade, Mata Kiapanai at a Kiwire, Telkula Vak Missa, Gay Vena Kisiva, Obage Dasit Natai a Kiwire, Evita Ohu, Nuba Pitata Gos, Nube Sielu Asalvasin Gen Bahajana, Enam Hisbajana Bohomeak Illa Ganina, Numat nube putrenut, Atulve dora piagena, a silu bajanavala tail wat cotter, Pirunu eva pettaka taba pan nai kiwea, a ohulangin gos, at a gay putreot, atulvi, dora piagatoya, ohu a langa bajana genavoya, a tail wat kalaya, bajana pirunu kala, a tavat bajaniak mata genenai, a gay putreata kiwaya. Tavat bajaniak natai ohu at a kiwea, till never to nay. Evita air evit, the Vianvaha sege manusiata den wire. Ohu the Numba ghost tell vicuna, naya geva, itirimudalin, Numbat nube putreot, raksha vea laya kiwea. Mama, but some kabidagan the kamati. A message entitled God's supernatural supply. Bang maged me this navi tema of the Vianvaha sege. And I want to show you through this story. First of all, that circumstances do not determine what you can do today. What, and in this story, I want to show you that's a wrong way to make a pledge. Because circumstances don't determine what you can do. In this story, the past experience of this woman was bad. Her husband had been in debt. 
Her husband had now died. Now the debt collectors were coming. It appeared like God had let them down. Everything looked hopeless. Her past circumstance did not look good. What about her present? As she talked to Elisha. Her present circumstance was well, she was fully in debt. The debt collectors were hounding her. They were threatening to throw her sons in jail. She had nothing. She had sold everything in her house that was left to sell. All she had was one pot of oil. Her present circumstance was very bad. Then we look. What did her future look like? What was the future circumstances looking like? Her sons were going to be in jail. Until she could pay her debt. But her sons were the only way she would get money. So once they were put in jail, she could never pay her debt. She would have no family to support her. There was no future for her. Are you hearing me this morning? Her past circumstance was hopeless. Her present circumstance was hopeless. Her future circumstance was hopeless. What was she going to do? The prophet Elisha commanded her to do some things. If she based it on her circumstances, she could not do what he asked. And so she didn't. As we go on in the story, the second thing we learn is that just as circumstances do not determine what you can do, the story shows us that God determines what you can do. Hello. God determines what you can do. He is the God of tomorrow. Doesn't matter what the past has been. Doesn't matter what the present is. Doesn't matter what the future looks like. He's the God of tomorrow. He can do the supernatural. He can change your circumstances. Amen. Amen. We know the end of the story. She just had one bottle of oil. But she kept pouring it in the pots. And the oil kept flowing. Kept flowing. Pot after pot. Was full of oil. 
Because God changed the circumstance. She was able to pay off the debt. She was able to live the rest of her life. Because circumstances don't determine what you can do. God determines what you can do. Your circumstances are here. But God says, no. I, I want you to do this. I want you to commit to this. I want you to give that. And God's word, if we obey, will prevail. One pot of oil filling many pots full. When I had paid $5 a month and then God said make it ten dollars a month. My circumstances said I could not pay ten dollars a month. I only had five. But God <laughs> said make it ten. God determined what I could do. Listen. It takes faith. He didn't tell me about washing the bathroom before I wrote my pledge. He didn't tell me about only after I wrote my pledge. Then he told me how he would meet the need. When I was renewing my $10 pledge. And he said $20. My circumstance said all I have is 10 but God said, I have determined you can pay 20. I didn't know how. I had to take a step of faith. Write the 20 down. Then God told me how it would happen. Are you with me this morning? So the first point. Your circumstances do not determine what you can do today. Second point. It's God who determines what you can do. Oh, but then we come to the third important point. Please catch the difference. God determines what you can do. But you will decide what you will do. And sometimes what we decide is not what God has determined. Are you hearing me? You see, if when God said, raise it to 20, if I had struggled, and I says, no, 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 I'm gonna to I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it to twelve. Do you know what? God won't have given me that job to sweep the neighbor's garden. There would be no idea, it would not be possible. So what God provided was for here. But I had to decide, will I do that or will I do something lower? This is a great story of a miracle God did. 
Divyan Vansi Kalavu Haskamaka Anarga Katandariak me. But at the same time, it's a very sad story. Namut Eva gave me Tamata Dukita Katandariak. Because when you study the story carefully, me Katavu Bohodin Kivanavita, God actually had planned for that lady. Divyan Vansi Eva Vendabu Kanta Udesa, Itamato Suishes Salas Maktabatimuna. To not just pay her debt. And get by the rest of her life. Again, Nikang me Naya Piavala Nikang Samani with the shape line and away. God had actually planned for that lady to live in abundance the rest of her life. Divian once again, Salas Bavune, me and the Bua. This is God's plan for her. But she decided to not do everything the prophet told her to do. And by not deciding to do everything God told her, she only got this much the rest of her life. Look at the story. When the prophet said, go borrow pots from your neighbors. In the Hebrew, it doesn't say get many. It says not a few. And in the Hebrew, what it was meaning was many, many, many. Right? And he told her, you go borrow. She didn't go borrow many, many, many. She sent her sons to go borrow. The prophet told her to go borrow. She could have had her sons borrowing too, but she was supposed to go as well. So she didn't even know how many they had borrowed. The Bible says when she was pouring the last pot, she didn't know it was the last pot. She poured... And then said, get me one more. And the son says, that's the last one. She didn't know it was the last one. She expected there should be many more. Are you hearing me? So even though there was a miracle, <laughs> it was not to the level that God had planned. Why didn't God tell her that she would fill the oil and sell it? Because God never tells us the whole plan. He just tells us what he wants us to do. And wants us to obey everything he says in faith. And so she, after her sons had borrowed the pots, then she goes to the prophet Okay, I borrowed the pots, now what? And then he says, now go home. And he still doesn't tell her the whole plan. He says, start filling the pots. And whichever pots are full, set them aside. And you will sell those to pay your debt and to live the rest of your life. So she didn't expect even maybe all the pots to be full. She goes home. She fills. Full, 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 full. Now she's getting excited. Wow. He said, whichever's are full, every pot so far is full. Now she's getting excited.
the swing. Dengge, wo joli tamat tami wedi karena. Song, give me another one. Pute tau tau bazne karang inna. There's no more. Tamane. No more. Tamane d. Ha? Bukak? And the oil stopped. Itar Bible es sana nuna evit tel natarauna kya. Are you hearing me? God planned abundance for her. She only got basic living. Devyan Mohan said that Balapurutu ne ati shayin jayagrahi jivita kya gatakarai kya ashirvad mat jivita gatakarai kya namut a ardh tatve ka nataravuna. God's plan was here. Devyan Mohan said that Salasma unai me matta min kriya karan. She decided she would do this. A me matta min nataravuna. And what you decide? Oba ganna utira ne ati indu. God will come down. उपगन ඔබ නිකන් සැලසුම් කරගෙන ආපු දේවල් කරන්න එපා. Don't do what the circumstances tell you to do. ඔබගේ අවට වාතාවරණයේ තිබෙන තත්වයන් නියම කරන ආකාරයෙන් තීරණ ගන්න එපා. Say God. කියන්නේ දෙවියන් වහන්ස. What do you want me to do? ඔබ වහන්සේ කුමක්ද මගෙන් ඉල්ලන්නේ? And when he tells you. වහන්ස ඔබට ඒ දේ කියන විට. It will scare you. ඔබ ටිකක් බය වෙයි ඒක ඇහුවාම. If it doesn't scare you it's not God. ඔබට බයක් එන්නේ නැත්තම් තැති ගැනීමක් එන්නේ නැත්තම් එක දෙවියන් වහන්සේ නෙවෙයි. You know what I mean. ඔබට තේරෙනවා මම කියන දේ මොකක්ද කියලා. It's faith. මේ ඇදහිල්ලේ ගමනක්. And when God tells you. දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ඔබට කියන දේ. Then you have to decide. ඊට පස්සේ ඔබ තීරණයක් ගන්න අවශ්‍යයි. Will you do what your circumstances tell you? ඔබගේ වාතාවරණයේ කියන දේ අනුව ඔබට කියන දේ ඔබ කරන්න යනවද? Will you do half what God tells you? නැත්තම් දෙවියන් වහන්සේ කියන දෙයින් භාගයක් ඔබ ඉෂ්ට කරන්න යන්නේ? Or will you do everything God tells you? Natham atishe sapalatve matte me kobe kriya karan ne anava the. Are you with me? But a pehdi the mama kya na karan ne. But I want to tell you something. Mama bhi kya ne kama thi yam karan ne ak. You can't outgive God. O bada khawa da akwad divya nuhan se o bada dena vata vada unuhan se dena be. The Bible says God is not a debtor to anyone. Unuhan se khawa da akwad khata vata naay kar ek nam one ne. Through all the more than fifty years that I've been filling a card. මේ අවුරුදු 50කට අධික කාලයක් මම මේ වගේ කාඩ් එකක් පුරවලා දාලා තියෙනවා. God has been faithful over and over and over again. දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ඒ හැම අවස්ථාවකදීම විශ්වාසවන්තව මගේ ජීවිතේ ක්‍රියා කරලා තිබෙනවා. I remember many years ago. මට මතක අවුරුදු ගණනාවකට ප්‍රථමයෙන් in the 80s. ආසූ ගණන් වල I I was increasing my pledge as a pastor. මම පාස්ටර් කෙනෙක් හැටියට මගේ ඒ ඇදහිල්ලේ පොරොන්දුව වැඩි කරන්න පටන් ගත්තා. 500 to 600 to 700 Pansi, Haisi, Hatsi, two thousand. Daha, and then God spoke to me. He was telling us about a katha kar lagi hua. Don't give in amounts. Deng me ganang balan de pa. I want you to start giving in percentages. Prati satyan anu obage kapakar dima kriyatma kakarwan nikya. The next missions, I want you to give half of your salary after tithes. Ilanga adi adi hille porundu edi obage adaimin si da panha. Then the kya unwa samata pray. Then sixty percent. Then seventy percent. Ita pasi siya da hatta avak, hatta ak hatta avak. Ita kaya diwena patan gatta. Finally, I was giving eighty-five percent of my salary. Ika da wasak mama tirya gatta magay aday me magay. Wetu pen siya da asupah unwa sir kapa karanda. And the only money left. Ita kaya magay atari ituro na ika mamudala. Was what I gave my wife each week to go buy food for the, and household supplies. Magay bahari wad mama satipata deno abe gedera awash. කැමට අවශ්‍ය බඩු ටික අරන් එන්න සලි ටික ඒ ටික විතරයි මගේ අතේ ඉතුරු වුණේ the next missions came ඊළඟ ධර්ම දූත පොරොන්දුව පැමිණියා so god what do you want me to do ඒක ස්වාමිනි මම මොකද කරන්නේ යන්නේ he said i want you to give 100% after tithes 100% of your balance උන්වහන්ස මට කිව්වා ඔබගේ ඒ ඒ බේ බේ දසෙන් කොටස දුන්නයින් පස්සේ ඔබගේ ඉතුරු වෙන 100ට 100ක් මුදල සභාවට කැප කරන්න දූතණියට කැප කරන්න i said whoa මම කව उधम दिया क्या निश्चित आमी नहीं। Lord, that's the food money my wife asked for। तो आमी नहीं, मगे बाहर यार अब अपने साथी पता क्या हम गान लेती हूँ ना साली ने मोबाइल से मगे इल्ला नहीं। That was many years ago. Her faith was not strong like now। ये हुआ काले के दिशा ले, काले जगह आधे हिल आधा थरम वार देने वाला थी बुने ने। But I knew what God said। नमूद बाबा जाने ही थे उन्होंने से मन्ना मुकाद दिखी हुई क्या? So I made the pledge। But I didn't tell my wife। 
නමුත් මගේ බාහිර යවට මම කිව්වෙ නැහැ ඒ අවස්ථාවේදී the next week ඊළඟ සතියේ tuesday came Rick and I have the money to go buy groceries. Come, let's sit down. I need to talk to you. We sat down. I said, I don't have any money. God told me to pledge it all to missions. But he's told me in his word that he will always supply our need. So let's pray together right now. And we joined hands and agreed. God, Swamini, we've obeyed you. Now you must supply our need. Now we lived very simply. And uh, we ate simply. But now we had no money. So we prayed. The next day, my wife got a call from a lady in the church. Will you meet me at this certain place? I have some things I want to give you. So she met her. And she came home with two boxes full of groceries. Now listen. The cheapest meat to buy in Singapore in those days mince meat huh? I bought her a book 101 ways to cook mince meat really <laughs> so, so she could cook many different meals but still with mince meat but do you know what she came home with? In the box, we bought cheap grade mincemeat. That was high grade mincemeat. And steaks. Roast. Ro uh, uh, fish. I didn't like fish. But when she cooked that fish, I said, Oh, I, I, this is very good. And I real I didn't like fish because when I grew up, my parents, the fish we ate was shark meat. Because it, it was the cheapest fish. So I didn't like it. But this was expensive fish. I said, oh, this is good. You see, God not only want, had his plan that he would provide us here, <laughs> But he gave us abundantly above what we could ask or think. Amen. Amen. The next day another lady called her. Come meet me. She came back with another box. We used milk. But we would buy the canned powdered milk. Mix it in the water. And it's, it's not good. I lived on it all my life. It's not great. Fresh milk is lovely. But it was so expensive. When she came back the next day, Fresh milk. Expensive breads, all sorts of food. Every week. 
It continued. We have not told anyone what God asked us to do. But God provided. Now we are not going to be able to do this. Amen. Amen. What if I had not made my pledge for all? Mama Magi Purundu at a Kikuruni Natan Devanos keep the Kikuruni Natan. What if I had just renewed it eighty five percent? Mama Nikasi Rasubaku Dakanikan Hitiana Mukat Devene. We would have kept eating mince meat. Abi Hamadam are a lab, bala, amburbumas kakainoa. Are you hearing me? Pahed did the Mama Kiana day. But God had a greater plan. Namut Devian wants to eat about our Swiss Salas for us to step out in faith. At the hill and pure again. And after that, we continued increasing, continued increasing. In pasu abe digin digatam abe dimanavan vedi karana paran gatta. God has always met our pledge. Devan wants to say ma vasta kadima me purundu ista karan apna hekiya wala badunna. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has a supernatural supply. Devan wants to the asari matu sapai mak tibena wa obudesa. Do you believe that? Obey the Vishwas Karanavada. Amen. Amen. This morning. Neudasana. As you look through that brochure. Eh, baby. Kuda Patrika of the Habalnavita. There are many needs represented. Avasata and Kihipia Patrika Visadhan Karatibena. There's two sides on your card. Obey card to get the Patak Tibena. One side is a monthly pledge. The other side is one-time projects. The most important is the monthly pledge. Huh? Everyone needs to fill that. And then after filling that, there may be some of you that God speaks to to also in addition do a one-time pledge. They're not asking you to give that whole amount, any amount to help reach that whole amount. But you can't fill that out unless you've already made a monthly pledge. I want us to pray now. I want to take whatever you plan to do when you came here today. I want you to put that aside. I don't want to let circumstances determine what you do. I want you to pray. Say, God, what do you want me to pledge? Speak to my heart, God. How much do you want me to commit to? And I know, God, that you will show me how I will get that. Or you will supernaturally provide that. God, I want to obey you today. I want you to decide what I should do today. Can the musicians come? And right now you bow your heads and close your eyes. And right now just begin asking God. God, what do you want me to do? God, speak to my heart. I don't want you to be caught away in emotion. But I want you to hearly clear from the Lord. Hear from the Lord.